Welcome to Crosstalk Solutions. My name's Chris and I wanted to do a quick follow-up to my UVC G4 dome video. In that video, I had some fogginess on the lens at nighttime that I sort of correctly guessed was the IR lights inside of the camera itself reflecting on this plastic dome that protects the camera lens. And after I put out that video, a lot of people said, oh yeah, I've got that same problem with the fogginess. And a lot of other people said, that's weird. I don't have that same fogginess problem. So I did a little bit of research. I started looking into it and I found out that the fogginess on the lens on the G3 G4 dome is not an insurmountable problem. You can fix it. And what I'm doing now by touching it is not a good idea, by the way, spoiler alert. So online, and I'll put a link to this down below, there is a, an article called Unify Protect Common Issues While Setting Up the G4 Dome's Night Mode. Okay, so let's take a look at each of these things step by step to see where we might be able to improve the nighttime vision quality if you happen to have a G4 Dome installed. All right, so the number one thing here is reflections from nearby objects. So it says, do not mount it within 24 inches of objects or walls where, where the, you know, within two feet on either side of the dome is going to reflect that IR light, you know, back into the camera. So here's the example they show is the G4 dome right next to this tree right here. And uh, you can see that this is causing some reflection, this is causing some reflection, and then the picture is kind of all foggy. Similarly, you don't wanna mount the camera on the ceiling where an overhang might be in the camera's field of view. So you see this example here, the overhang is right in the camera's view and it's bouncing back some of that IR light right into the dome and it's making the picture foggy. In this case, if you just probably tilted the camera down a little bit, that would resolve that issue. They also say don't wall mount it too close to the ceiling. Now in my case, it is actually pretty close to sort of the eave of the roof above the camera. It's within two feet of that eave, but that doesn't seem to be causing any problem for me. Uh, it actually does not seem to reflect IR light, or at least it's, it's down low enough that it's not reflecting any of the IR light. But here we get to the the crux of what was my problem, okay? So residue on the bubble cover or lens. Okay, so fingerprints, any sort of leftover residue from the manufacturing process, anything like that can basically cause the IR lights to reflect off the interior of this dome. So what I did is I went out at about 9 p.m. and I took off the dome cover and then I used a lens cloth to really clean out the inside of the dome cover. Now further down in this document, we see another tip that says the bubble cover is not properly locked into place. So that's this you know, bubble dome right here. If I take it off, uh, we can see, let me put this in full screen. Here's the bubble dome itself. So the first thing you wanna do when you're installing these or right after you're done installing them and you're ready to set the angle of the camera lens itself, Take a nice camera cloth or like a glasses like lens cleaning cloth and clean the inside of this bubble dome. Then if you look at the bubble dome, one of these little pegs on the side has a number. In my case, it says two. I don't know if they all say two, but that number is sort of the bottom edge of the bubble dome. So when you line it up, there's a little notch right here uh, below the camera lens. You wanna line up that number two basically with that little notch and just make sure that it's perfectly lined up when you press it in as far as it'll go and then you turn it clockwise to basically lock it into place. Now once you've locked it into place then you want to take your same lens cleaning cloth and clean the outside of the dome really well uh, and periodically you might have to go back to this camera and just clean the outside of the lens as you know dirt and build up over time uh, starts making the picture a little bit foggier or starts causing the IR lights inside of here to reflect off of the inside of this bubble dome piece. So that's basically the process that I went through. I went outside, I took the bubble dome off, I cleaned it real good inside with a lens cleaning cloth, and then I made sure that that lens was exactly lined up 
put it in, turned it counterclockwise, and then I cleaned the outside of the lens really good. And I have to say, it really did make a night and day improvement. I'll show you some footage here of what the camera looked like the night before I cleaned it, and then what the view looked like after I had cleaned it and ensured that the bubble dome was properly seated uh, in uh, over the lens itself. And you can kind of see that in the examples on this webpage as well. Here is a picture of an incorrectly attached cover, and then here is a picture of a properly attached cover. Uh, but, and, and you know, when I had it before, I think it might have been the cover that wasn't put on correctly because it kind of looked like this. It was very foggy, and when I was standing about 35 feet away, you couldn't see me at all. Now you can see me at 35 feet away. I don't know if you'd be able to like recognize a person at that length, at that distance, but at least you can actually see that there's someone there. Whereas before you would have had no idea. Next, we're gonna try a test with the lens off completely. Here we go. All right, lens is off. Other tips that they show in this document, number one, moisture droplets on the bubble cover. So again, you wanna make sure that it stays cl as clean as possible. And if it's in a spot where rain is going to be splashing on it or something like that, you might have to go out with a lens cloth and clean that the exterior of that bubble dome uh, if you notice moisture buildup on the outside. And finally, the rubber seal surrounding the lens is damaged. This can cause infrared light leak. So you see this rubber seal right here, and then you look in this picture here, and it's got this like chip taken out of it right there. So if you have that kind of scenario where there is a problem with the rubber lens around the camera, that can cause issues as well. All right, so there you have it. Basically, if I'm installing these for a client, I'm gonna get them on the wall or on the ceiling. Then as soon as I'm ready to adjust the actual camera lens, I will take the bubble dome off. I will clean it real good on the inside with uh, a lens cleaning cloth. I will you know, put the lens back on, ensure that it's properly lined up, twist it into place counterclockwise, or clockwise, and then really clean the exterior of that bubble dome as well. And that should ensure that the picture quality is as good as it can possibly be. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, please click subscribe. My name is Chris with Crosstalk Solutions, and thank you so much for watching.